they're, they're on Main Street. They're right now, they're, they're passing. Where that crown billboard is, yeah. it used to be, right? Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're coming to, to Lamar Street. I don't know if they're going to be turning. And going back to City Hall like last time? No, no I have no idea. All right, sorry y'all. We got us a little ordeal here in Dallas. What's up, what's up? The only thing that keeps me positive that they're gonna turn and go towards City Hall again is that there's no cops out. The and they just they just passed. Uh, what's happening, y'all? This what's might be a on? pretty fast video. We gotta keep an eye on the situation uh, here. No, it it's not calm down here. Not not at all. Word on the street said it may be worse tonight than it was last night. Yeah. I think they're going towards 35 right now. On Main Street. Whiskey okay. Neon. Alright, what are we going to do tonight? I'm going to do a black, white, and gold negative space. This isn't a Thank commentary you. on black and white. Megan? Megan? Thanks, Megan. This isn't a commentary on black and white, I promise. Um, I just really liked what that combination looked like last night, and I wanted to explore that on a larger piece. So that's the plan. And in between all that, we're keeping an eye on the Dallas riots. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're headed. Sorry. They're going right to, uh, right down where Kennedy was shot. They're going down that ramp. Okay. I thought they were on Lamar. No, they passed. They're on Main Street. Green scene is just in their own world. I don't know what's happening there. Anyway, that's what we're planning on doing tonight for you guys. Yeah, we'll be right back. So one of the dog moms that's usually at our 6.30 play date mm -hmm. wasn't there and while we were out we got a text that was like she's been arrested <laughs> one of the little wow. petite ladies got arrested um, alright you're good oh well thank you very much thank you Barbara I appreciate that I really do Last night during our, one of our Facebook live feeds, someone was like, protect the four pups and the paint. I was yeah. like, no, no. Yeah, now they're headed towards 35. Well, let's make some paints. I really liked last night's look. I'm gonna use a little bit less gold and be more specific with where, put it. Kind of got away for me last night, and also I wonder if this black base tint doesn't need to be kind of diluted with another paint. But I'm out of black paint from any other brand, so I may drop in some. No, I don't want to do that. I was going to drop in some like dark turquoise, but I really like the brown that this makes because of whatever kind of black it is. What kind of black is it that dilutes brown? You know what I mean? Like some blacks dilute into blue. I don't know. 
Maybe Mars? I, I want to say it is Mars. Idea. Holly's Art House wants to know, did you get my package out? Did you send my package out? I figured the protest might cause issues. Um, I got almost every package out yesterday before the uh, crazy started. I haven't sent out any packages today. We went and supported a friend of ours working on a mural in a city about an hour away. We got back and I took an awesome nap, so I, I've, I've been slacking today. Um, but if your order came in yesterday or before, then it's, it's been sent out. So the black I'm using is Black Passion from Color Passion. I don't know why I made that much resin in my gold, because I'm not going to use that much. Even that's probably too much. For the gold, I'm using bright gold paste from Just Resin. The black is going to be what um, acrylic pourers refer to as the cell agent. It's going to be what gives me the larger cells in the piece. If you're interested in any of these colors or the cradle board I'm pouring on, find it at artistsolette.com, which is linked somewhere. Gold and our white. So for this, we're going to use. We're going to use. I was going to use color obsession. I can't get that open. So we're going to use. Titanium by just resin. I always give my paints a good stir before I use them because you never know if they've separated. What do you guys think of the kit for this month? The pour with us kit. Do you like the colors? Do you like the subject the matters? Matters. Subject matter. Just one. One matter. Uh, I have them on, but up close, it's it's still blurry. So to read the comments, I have to have them on. A little bit far away is, is fine, but up close to read, I, I have to have my contacts on. These people are spray painting on. They're, <laughs> they're spray painting on the JFK Memorial. F12, F the pigs, F12. I'm not really great with history, but wasn't JFK like super pro people? I mean, I don't know. Oh, they're stopping people. Yeah. Okay. So this is a cradle board from our website, artistholdup.com. I went ahead and prepped it only with spray paint. Um, this is an 18 inch round, it's cradled. And this is kind of like a play on how Jeff used to do his yin yang pours back in the day. Stone Coat Art Coat. It is, to my knowledge, a resin that has the longest working time at two hours or more. 
and it sets up super rigid and it's heat resistant up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. You can also get it on our shop artist .com. So I'm just gonna spread this clear out. This is what I call um, greasing the pan. This is just allowing the resin to flow more easily over the surface of the canvas because if it was just dry then it wouldn't it would just it's a very technical sound effect. You don't have to put this much down. This is kind of on the thicker side because I really want to show the tinted resin laying on top of the background. I want that depth. That's fun. I think that's okay. Say what the huh? We're just seeing if it said what you're doing. I like it negative. We're doing negative space tonight. Okay. We can so now we have that down. I'm just hitting it with a little bit of heat to pop some of the bubbles. If you go to pop some bubbles and they don't pop, it's a hair. That's just, in case you didn't know, that's what that is. Bubbles should pop super easy with just a quick hit of heat. And if you pop bubbles and they still keep coming back up, that means your surface is on the porous side and air is coming through the base. What do you guys think? Should I use the heat gun or swiping paper? of gold so I ran that super fast. Did they say if they think he got Swipe. Guns? Somebody said swipe it. Two people said swipe it. One person said heat gun. Majority is on the swipe side, so we'll start there. Swipe, swipe. So you guys took that swipe class with me. So you know you have to lay it flat, make sure your angles are upward. Let about a pinky width of paint soak up into the paper. And take your time. Police are really like on it tonight. Like they're like corralling them. What it looks like. Swipe and tilt. Swipe and tilt. I'm hoping this will be as elegant as I have it in my head. Do this and you see skips in your swipe, that means you're pulling too fast, or your resin's gotten a little too cold, or both. Oh, 
swipe, 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 heat gun, swipe, swipe, swipe. always cut my swiping paper to the side so that it comes off at a point like these because if I were to just keep going and stop it would leave a blunt edge I would demo that for you but I don't want to ruin this piece and it definitely would but if you remind me I can show you what that looks like on like a coaster after I finish this So thank you to everyone that's been you checking You need it. You want to heat it first or no? I did. Oh. Thanks to everyone that's been checking in on us. Yeah, Shelly. Shelly says, can you swipe using paper on countertops? Sure can. Evelyn says, Jeff, I must thank you for the suggestion of the of these outline tutorials. I really like that resin. Um, okay, I'm I'm not sure what that is, but you're welcome. Outline tutorials. Digging it so far. What do you guys think? Oh. I always recommend pulling towards you. Because it's easier to do that than trying to reach over and then you get your boobs all in your resin piece or not boobs depending on your situation. Um, also if you swipe away from you and don't remember to drop your paper on the far end and you bring it back you'll probably drip and ruin everything that you've done. So just be mindful of that situation. Yeah, they're trying to get on the freeway again. They're trying to get on the freeway again? Are they rejected from the freeway? First time. a little bit more white down because it kind of all pulled that way which is fine every time you put a color down hit it with some heat because that resin isn't going to be as warm as your resin out there because you haven't been working with it yet I'm just going to swipe a little bit over this one again It's not even on there. That thing's not even on there. I don't even know how I can use that. Whenever we teach a class on swiping, I always tell people that at some point I'm going to tell you to slow down. Because people seem to rush through it and I get it because a lot of resins don't give you a lot of working time, but this resin gives you hours of working time. So you really take your time and enjoy the process. Because it's not supposed to be stressful, right? It's art. It's supposed to be You're a good time. You're not letting me get near City Hall. Oh, they're on the freeway. They're on 35. I think I'm probably going to really love this piece. Um, Shelly, just, a, just a, um, a little tip. If you get practice 
uh, countertops and you have them and it's a small countertop and and you you're pouring on it and you're swiping it if you're practicing for a countertop that's already a countertop that you can't move just whatever you do don't tilt it don't tilt the practice one because obviously you won't be able to tilt your countertop because Already in. Yeah, I mean it's already in, but you, if you want to get that look, you're you won't be able to do that with your. You gotta practice oh, like you perform. They're scattering now. They're running. Yeah. Why? Probably because they're they're doing the uh, pepper bullets. They're not. They're not. Look at that. They're not playing around tonight. They got tear gas and then those pepper bullets. Those paintball bullets. You're out protesting in your cities. Be safe. in Dallas. It's all in Dallas. All this is in Dallas, in downtown Dallas. Now they're surrounding that Office Max over there, over by the uh, Target. I mean, it's just a small, very small group of people, so I'm not sure what's going on. I'm 100% against looting of any kind, but if we're looting downtown, I'm hitting the art store, I'm just saying. That was part of the madness. I'd be that one person that's like, come on guys, let's go over here, we're gonna hit this one, I know it's gonna be great, and people are gonna arrive and be like, an art store. The whiskey neon is in the thick. Anyways, I think I'm happy with how this piece has turned out. It is pretty close to my initial vision. It's got drama, it's got intrigue. Is it in focus? Yeah. I'm loving the cells down the middle so it doesn't look like a part, you know? I was thinking I was going to tilt it, but I like how it looks like this. It almost looks like one of those old school, like, brooches. I love it. I'm going to put this in the desk for example before I run it. That's probably a good pro tip. Once it gets how you like it, even a little bit, put it away. So you don't try to keep working on it. It's true. Yeah, they're, what they're doing is they're tiring them out is what they're doing. Uh, Monica's Creative asks, what was the cell creator? Uh, it's uh, Color Passion Black was the cell creator in that piece that she was just working on. there at Reunion Tower. And they're all down around you, Reunion Tower. A 
Ooh, do you have resin? I want to put resin over this. Or if not, then I don't that's have any cool. clear. Oh, I don't want to do that. Then. <clears throat> that's right, Dar. Dar says we learn to quit while we're ahead. That's something that's very difficult for most fluid artists is knowing when to just like it and leave it. Knowing when to stop. You can always add more, you just can't take away. It's true. Hashtag you can, but then you have to get rid of all of it and start over. <laughs> or a majority of a piece that you might like and... It's complicated. It's complicated. It's like they don't even know where they're going. No, it looks like they're just trying to tire them out. They're making them like just walk everywhere. They won't let that happen, Debbie. They, they uh, so I hope the police station over the road from isn't targeted. They, uh, they came out last night. They protested last night, and it was not necessarily peaceful, but they weren't violent. Not down here, anyway. Yeah, not down here. They had all of, like, they had all of the cops down here. Bank of America building being chased away. Mattify says Erica reminder. We wanted to show how you feather the ends of your swipes end of your swipes and how you cut the paper. Sure. Thank you, Mattify. That's really elegant. That's super fun. See how that black goes a little bit brown, like that coffee color? I thought it was gold. No, I have no gold in either of these, but it has that wow. slight hint of coffee in it. Love it. That's Crazy. Okay. Swiping and cutting swipe. Let's get some resin down. I don't have any clear left, so I'm greasing the pan with colors. Where, are you going to put that down or are you going to put that on your hand? I'm going to put it down. 
do want it up close. just you need to do something to it like it's just all blurry Slinger, we, uh, Resin Slinger asked, do you do a final clear coat on your coasters? It really depends. When we have gold that floats to the top, we like to because uh, wearing and tearing, I don't think I said that right, but it'll dull the gold. Okay, so I don't cut, oh, cut the paper. Like. Again. Okay, so you want to make sure that you don't have your edges of your swiping paper pointed down. See how that one's kind of curled upward? It's very important because if I were to swipe like this, it would just scrape with this point. So I always curl mine upward so that they're both little horns like that. So I'm going to absolutely important to do horizontal instead of vertical because if you go vertical, you're just going to scrape it. Okay, so as horizontal as possible. I'm gonna lay it down and let pencil width soak up into the paper. Oh my god, this Donna person. Cool. Okay. And then I turn it a quarter of the way and just leave that back tail that I curled upward down to finish the pull. I hope that makes sense. So that way it trails off. Now, if I were to just leave it at a blunt, I'm gonna do a, exactly the same, but not turn it. And show you guys what that looks like. Pick up. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And if I just stop it, see how it just, is the blunt stop like that? I mean, maybe some people like it. Cool, for sure. Not my favorite. I prefer to feather the ends a little bit. No, don't put your question in all caps right now. I, I saw it, and I will tell Erica. We understand you have a very important question, Donna, but it's that's a little much right now. What's the question? She ordered some. She's the first time she's ordered from us, and then she ordered again. Hold on. She says, okay, third time asking. I never ordered from you before, but I placed an order. Then I saw another thing I wanted. I paid for it, but PayPal and emailed you. You did, emailed you. Did you understand my email? Hope I made sense. Um, Donna, if you would just give me a second to get off the live feed. If I, if I read it, I would have responded. It's been a little crazy here, so I haven't really gotten into the emails, but um, I will get into email and check on that for you. At any chance you sent me a text message about, she said she sent a text to her? I have no idea. Okay, well I will, I'll look into it for you, Donna. If I would have seen it already, I definitely would have answered. Any Anybody at home um, trying to get in contact with us, text message is always the fastest way. Just so y'all know. Wow. That idiot just broke the... What is? This idiot <laughs> just broke a windshield of a 
Cujo, leave it. Piece of construction. frosting when you do that. Are those cookies that are black and white just called black and white cookies? No idea. Oreos? Um, what kind of paper are you using? It's just regular paper, right? Like butcher paper. I'm using the swipeies from the website, but you oh. can use butcher paper. She's using the swipeies. don't know our phone number it's 214-402-9996 if you have a question about anything that's the best and fastest way to get in touch with us parchment paper is a little thinner right a little light yeah you you, you really don't you don't want to use parchment paper because it will just kind of sink into the resin very thin you want a little bit heavier paper that can go over the top and and hold its hold its form Shelly, if you order from us, you get the swipes from us. If you order stone coat from us and order swipes, they come from us. That's fun. Hopefully that gold doesn't like break through and take over. Looks like it already starting over here in the black. That's kind of what I mean by the gold takes over. I don't know if you guys can see these light flecks. Maddie Fight says, I like to use glossy junk mail for swipes. Do it. Glossy junk mail is perfect. Oh my god, what if that's the lady that you're your lady? I don't know, maybe we have to. <laughs> They're showing people that you're getting arrested. Still the best video I've seen is that one guy that was trying to be a leader and running into the Sandy says, I'm window. still waiting to place my order until Snow White comes in. It's on order, should be in any day now. It's been on order for a while. Fortunately, getting things in or out of the country right now is a little bit difficult. Because the Rona is still a thing. I'm going to try to do like a bloom style almost. This one. I will read it when I get off of here. Sorry, I'm just like. It's starting to get dark here, and that's when things get super extra, so. 
Extra, extra, read all about it. Well, thank you, Sandy Stewart. CBS. Windows breaking windows just to break windows. That CVS already got looted last night. Just, just to do it. They're just doing it just to do it now. Uh, Lisa wants to know, are you going to start carrying the new Just Resin... Uh, what's that? Chameleons? Chameleon pigments. Yes. They're sending me samples. I just wanted something on top of this center that was kind of dull. I don't know if that would that's the best way to do it, but I still like it. Um, yeah, as soon as... I have some that uh, she's sending me to test out in this quarter that I have out right now. And as soon as it gets here, I'll be doing a review. And I'm still uh, looking at the chameleons that I did a review on I think last week. Carry some of those. Um, I'm definitely going to be carrying chameleons for you guys because they're so fun to work with. Very neat product. Here's my plan. If I don't like how this one looks, I'm going to smush it with this one right here. Alpha? I'm just going to say Alpha. Alpha. Alpha Hymus? I can't even say it. How are the cells forming? They are forming due to this black that I'm using right here. It's what I would consider a base. And what happens is whatever kind of chemical magic that's in it is making whatever color go over it, like oil slick, into cells. So, I'm going to put this white down. And how base tints work is the color that is the base tint isn't what color cells you're going to get. It's whatever is on top of it. For example, this one, the black is the base tint or the cell agent, and the white is what color the cells are going to be because it's on top of it. So I'm just hitting with a little bit of heat so it's easier to move around, especially since I'm blowing it with cooler air. And so when I move it and thin the resin out by manipulating it with the air or if you tilt it or whatever you do, um, that's going to create a surface tension that just pops cells up in. What brand? This is Color Passion, the black. Um, and you can get it on our, oh, you can't see that. You can get it on our website, artistilled.com. So you can see that they're already popping up there on the edges where it's thinnest. You can tell that it's thinner because it's kind of like gray. And in the center, it's heavier. You can tell because it's still solid white, even though I put it directly on top of the black. But it'll still pop up some cells in the center, which is where it's thinnest, it pops up first. And that is how I get my large webbing style cells. Um, I think I'm going to smush these two guys. I'm going to go put this one away because I really like it. Also going to put this one away because I really like it. 
And I'm gonna put this one away, because see how this is the one I just did, and it's absolutely gorgeous to me. Looks like the bottom of a sand dollar. That's the kind of one where you look at it and you go, I love it, and you just let it be. That's if you look at if you look at your coasters like that, the first time you say, Oh, I like that. Just put it in a dust free zone. Put it away. And that way you won't mess with it, you won't be tempted to mess with it, and then you won't get upset with yourself for messing with it. I think I might keep this one actually. So I have two out that I'm gonna do a smush. Juice. Mm -hmm. Don't you love these smush mushes? Those are nice. The smush mush are like those are the ones that you really you just do it and you leave it. Don't you know? There's no smushing it again or swiping it or you just hit it with the heat and leave it. Look how fun this area. That's why they're so easy. We should do like a big one one day, like a 15 inch smush. Thanks, JJ. Love these. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right, now that these are acceptable, we're going to put these in the desk free. And it, it, it's a good way, um, Angela E says, that's cool, I want to smush a couple pieces now. That's a, that's a good way to, like, to, to do that. Just get inspired and do it, and, and then you'll have um, at least two coasters that do look similar. So you can sell them as, as, a, as a couple, you know? Um, you do four at a time, they all look similar. They all have the same color. They're going to look that smush look. And you can sell them as a four pack. One time we tried to do like 50 coasters at one time. With Quick Coat. With Quick Coat? Nightmare. <laughs> that was fun. I think we have it. I think it's on I the channel. I think we do. Will you change the scene? What is that? I turned it. See I have no more it? resin. I turned it to the face. Oh, it's not this one. Oh. I can't see it. All right, 
so we have no more resin. Look at my shoulders. They're not as bad as they look. I think I just got too much uh, that was from one color hour on there. In the sun. If, if, even if I was one hour in the sun. If I would have stood out with you that amount of time, I think my skin would be boiling off. Looks like they're headed back past Bank of America building. So you guys, if you want to reuse your, like, okay, first of all, I forgot that you can't see me anymore. So I'm cleaning Move off that camera. our stir sticks. There you go. Um, oh, that I we use. I, can, I guess I can put it on overhead. Um, we just take an alcohol rag. Uh, alcohol is kind of rare right now. You can use acetone and just wipe it off. It's ready for reuse. You can see mine are all kind of multicolored. That's perfectly fine. I had a lady contact me very upset that her stir sticks got stained. Um, if you can't wipe it off with alcohol or acetone, it's not going to come off into your resin. Okay. Um, and also, If you want to reuse your mixing buckets, I'm just going to show you guys real quick how to do that. It's the same. Um, get as much out as you can. After you get it all out of here when you're mixing your colors together, just turn it upside down on your working space so it can drain out a little bit. And then just take your alcohol rag and give it a good wipe out. Then you can use this over, over, over and over. Um, if you buy one of our complete kits, you get one of these in it. You can just keep on using it. What are they knocking that fence down for? <laughs> right now it's all clean uh, and ready for the next piece. And we always line our area with butcher paper. These I just keep under my piece to lift it. So all you do is just roll that up. And you're all clean, ready for the next pour. Very important if you have key caps. All right, Nene, I'm just drinking Bud Light. <laughs> Bud Light. She's a, that's an interesting bottle. Let's see here. I like to make this so that you pop it out and you can. Uh, downtown looks like Deep Ellum on a Friday. JJ, thank you very much. Mm. Yeah, it's just it's just their uh, aluminum, bottle. aluminum bottle. I'd rather have glass, but what are you gonna do? What you gonna do? Say hi too. Hi, JJ, how's your adventure going? Always here to say hi to the people. Yeah, I think. I mean, it's it's a little like it's little red, but I think I just have too much saturation color on this. Mattify, thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> and also, thank you for. Always supporting our fans, Scarlett and Carrie. Whew. Whew. I liked everything I made tonight. It's always a good day when you like camera. everything. Because I was just here and I can't move. 
Those are the bolts they're shooting at people. Oh, those that are the rubber crazy. ones? crazy. Yes. I don't want to be hit by that. That guy got dropped in his tum tum. Um, I'm not going outside tonight because that one. it's um, kind of crazy everywhere. So I'm going to let Jeff do the gabers. It doesn't. It doesn't hurt. What do you do with all your coasters? So we let them all cure up really well and then... Thank you, Clara. Clara, thank you. Um, we kind of assembly line, sand them down and top coat the ones that need to be top coated and then we sell them either in our fire sale or if we do like a craft show or an art fair or something like that. So yeah, that's what, that's what we do. You'd be really surprised at how much income you can generate from selling a $5 coaster. Yeah. We, I've told definitely. this story before, but it really adds up. So when we do like craft shows and art fairs and things like that, we mostly sell coasters. Um, we always bring in some really large, really attractive artwork to get people into our booth. And then um, what we do is have a whole bunch of like tables of coasters laid out and people will be attracted to the larger piece. Um, and then when they come into our booth, Our, our paintings are, our larger paintings are a little bit expensive for craft shows and art fairs. Um, but it gets people in your booth and they get in and they're like, oh, I don't. They didn't plan on spending that much money or they just, that's not in their budget. And so they don't want to leave with like empty handed. So they're like, I want one of those. Or the kids will see something sparkly and then mom's like, okay, everyone pick your favorite one. Adds up. We paid for our entire booth fees and entrance fees and things like that at events just on the sale of coasters. Yeah. Highly recommend coasters. We sell them more than molds and keychains and, and magnets. And don't and don't be intimidated to take you know bigger work that you um, that you want to put a big price tag on. If you feel like you spent the money, you feel like you spent spent the time. And just your artistic time, like you're, you, you know what? I want to sell this for five hundred dollars. Put a five hundred dollar price tag on that. And if it doesn't sell, next time do it. It only takes one person to walk up and be like, "I need that piece of artwork." Came into don't, a large don't chain haggle. Coasters. Yeah. Um, do you usually sell <laughs> single coasters mostly, or do you try to put them in sets? Funny story. Um, our last big art show. We were like, let's sell these as sets. We made them in sets of four, whatever. And we had them out in sets of four. And people would come in and just start to mix and match. And we're like, no, 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 no. It's, there's, there, it's a set. Yeah. Um, and they'd be like, oh, mm, and drop it and, and leave. They would put them down. <laughs> but once we made it a mix and match, grab your favorite ones, could not hold on to them. Like we would come home from the show, because uh, most of our shows are like three days come home spend all night making more coasters mm -hmm. that's why at the end of the videos anytime i have something left over i'm always doing coasters because they're inexpensive they're functional they're easy to ship they're easy to sell they're easy to package and five dollars over the span of i don't even know how many coasters claire can attest to you how many coasters we have in our place adds up How do you price a four piece 12 by 20 resin? So you have a quad? Quad dipped. Quad tick? <laughs> um, each piece is 12 by 20 or in total is 12 by 20? In total, 12 by 20 would be kind of smaller. Mary Beth, thank you for donating on our PayPal. Hey, drawing. Um, people donate extra tiles to Habitat for Humanity. I can buy them for pennies. Your experience may vary. That's awesome. If you can get cheap coasters and 
get them. Get them, paint them, use them. People love it. They may not absorb condensation, but it's kind of like a, a coffee table book. It's a conversation starter. Will keep rings off of your surfaces. Not gonna soak up a sweaty can of Sprite in like the south summer heat, but oh, each piece is 12 by 20. That's a fun size. A foot by almost two feet times four. We've got 75. I would say. I guess it would depend on how many colors you used. And um, how many layers of and, resin. And what you've done to it. You know, your technique, your if you if you have flood coats over them. Um, how much resin you use? How, how many how many colors? Um what do you think of fluid pour ceramic coasters bottom line with cork? I think they're great. I think I would one hundred percent clear coat them with resin to protect them. Um I would probably price a 12 by 20 times four. So one, two, three. So that's four feet by 20 inches. And the last 48 inch piece that I sold was 700. Um, What's wave seen? It's an ocean piece. The last one I sold was, but at that 48 inches was 700. So that will probably give you a good starting point for your pricing. Acrylic mostly by Jasmine Alcohol Ink. Make sure you seal those alcohol ink pieces in as well, five colors. So six or 700 depending on how difficult it was for you to keep the flow over four pieces consistent because that was something that I had a little bit of difficulty with with my last diptych because it was it ended up being nine feet so do you have a moon rock blanket available I sure do um, it's under resin art on the website I do have a current code ATD alpha tango delta I don't know if I use the right military terms, but um, ATD is live right now for 5% off on our website. Um, you can even use that for the kit that we have for this month, nope, next month's pour class. Or if you haven't gotten your F COVID shirt or the worldwide lockdown shirt, that is also yes. available. If you're new here, please subscribe. Yes, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the notification <clears throat> bell under the video. So 700 divided by four. Are you selling it as a set or are you doing individuals? Because I was giving a 700 price tag for a four piece painting. If you're selling individual 12 by 20s, yeah. If that if that Probably. four piece makes one image and you're selling it as a one image, then around seven hundred. Seven hundred. If it's individual, Probably like and they're all just separate pieces. Yeah. You're selling as a set, seven hundred. If individual, I, for me. When I do a video on here, if I sold a piece that size, it'd probably be in the 150 range. Resin is better. Um, it's definitely more um, heat resistant for sure and scratch resistant. A lot of times spray sealants can wear over time with use. Whereas once you put resin on something, it's typically there for the long haul. Um, I feel like I missed a question that I read and was going to address and I lost it. Let me put it over here so it's easier to see. No, I can see it. I just forgot what it was. Did I miss any questions?
Deborah, wow, those smushed ones are amazing. I actually gasp when you pull them apart. Smushed ones are really nice. They're very elegant and they're easy to do. Typically difficult to mess up if you use a very limited color palette. Once you put a whole bunch of colors down, things can get real crazy real quick. It gets real busy. Some people like busy. My work, I like to keep. Hopefully you'll hear this. Um, be kind to one another. You never know what somebody's going through. You guys have an awesome Saturday night. Be safe out there. Bye. Bye. There's a movie that I want us to watch. Huh? There's a movie that I want us to watch. Okay.